work is something else. And I'm saying as if people are very sincere and good. They cannot do anything. Oh, majority they are not. And so, if we are given the task of being busy with the work of Allah and His Prophet, we are the lucky ones. We are the honored ones. You must run, like what Shaykh Fendi is saying. Be with the Salihin, Allah is saying. Be with the Salihin, and not just to sit there with them. Be means to learn from them, to serve them, to help them. Just like Sahabis, they didn't just sit in front of Prophet and say, Ah, just give me blessing. Oh, I love you. Give me blessing. Oh, I fly. They sacrificed and they gave everything. That is the way especially of the Osmanlis. So check yourself. How much am I giving? How much am I sacrificing? Again, we're not talking about money. We're talking about the heart here. Heart. You don't need any book, anyone to remind you. Your heart. Are you busy when you wake up? Oh, Are you busy with what your shaykh is busy with? Simple, you're following a shaykh, right? Are you busy with what your shaykh is busy with? Because if you're busy with your shaykh, that means you're busy with the Prophet, you're busy with Allah. It's finished, especially in tariqah. You don't have to find your own way. If you are not, fix yourself before it gets too late. Fix yourself. Because as the khutbah is saying, Shaykh Afandi, Shaykh Maulana is saying, the risk that you have, maybe you're holding on to the risk of 50 people. That is physical risk. The ones who are sitting here, the spiritual risk that is coming to you, the blessings, it is worth thousands, tens of thousands maybe. You are holding the spot of someone who is definitely better than you, you and me. And if we don't carry this, Allah will make those ones to sit here and to make a better work than we can even imagine. It's always been. Look at Central Asia. We have our guests from Uzbekistan. Look at Central Asia. For a while, they were the biggest enemies to the Muslims. Genghis and all the rest, they were the biggest enemies. But those ones, they are sincere and they are straight. And when the truth came to them, and the truth came to them not because they study or they watch television or they speak to some scholar. Their faith changed. Their intelligence was so high that they say, we don't need anything else. This is a holy man. He's saying words that is coming from divine. He's showing something extraordinary. He's only bringing us to goodness. We follow him. And when the Arabs couldn't carry that, those ones came, the uh, Mongols, they punish the whole nation. One generation later, they became the defenders of Islam. Until today, and where their land was, it is the heartland of Tasawuf. We cannot be proud. It's a very big sickness. Of course, these days people are saying, but what about you? Then it is like the child, when the parent says, don't play with fire, don't play with knives. And then the child says, what about you? I always see you playing with fire. Because people have no understanding what sheikhs are also, the teachers. So, <laughs> inshallah, in these days, in these times, we are very honored. We're coming to the top of the mountain because of the blessings that is coming down, because of our sheikh, because of our grand sheikh, that is coming very strong in this part of the world that has never seen this kind of spirituality. 
since the day that this world was created. And we must be honored and we must be happy to be included in that plan. And like they say in this country, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands because I see so many of you like this. I say, are you happy? No, I'm very happy. Then why are you like this? Even the song is saying, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands to show. Because Allah is saying, if you are grateful to me, show your gratitude. Correct or no? You must show. Anyway, you like it, take it. You don't like it, leave it. I'll take it. Assalamu alaikum.